What's up, guys? It's Hawk with Blue Collar Outdoors, and today we got some lead loads for Final the channel. Film Hawk here. So stay tuned. Alright guys, today <clears throat> we got B and P. Show them both. Double B and P. We got two boxes of the B and P Magnum Turkey. This is a 20 gauge, 3 inch, ounce and a quarter. This is 5 shot, traveling 1100 feet per second. The same box over here, but this is 6 shot. The choke I'm going to be running is the Black Diamond Strike for 555 out of the TriStar G2 Viper. We're not going to do the trigger pull test. Uh, that one doesn't really fit this trigger. Jake's got a new one coming, so. But we're at 40 yards. TriStar G2 Viper. Let's see what this B and P lead load can do at 40 yards. All right, guys. Got the Indian Crick 555 with the B and P. Five shot at 40 yards. Everything's the same, but we got the BMP six shot lead at 40 yards. He's hammered. I can see some on that one. All right, let's go see what that BMP did at 40 yards. Well, as you can see here, they can't yet cause this too. lead load decided to miss pretty much all of the target. But we have three vital hits right here. <laughs> what is this setup? This is the BMP five and six shot with the TriStar G2 Viper 555 Indian Crick. And this load wanted to avoid the whole turkey target. This is the fives for reference. This is the fives. Uh, it doesn't but really matter, but. I'm going to draw the BCO 12, and then you guys can see just how piss poor this is. All right. Let's go out to the sixes. I understand I, I that. I did. That's why I bought them, but not to hunt with them. All right, guys, this is the sixes. And also, this load decided to miss the turkey target. But I do. I did center punch the eyeball. Got one, two, three. Four, five vital hits here. He's dead. He is dead, but so is all his I killed friend. about the whole flock too. So, Jesus Christ. but we're gonna take the target off <laughs> the BCO twelve on there, and we'll see how much shot is in there. Probably three pellets. It won't be much. All right, guys, this is the B and P six shot with the Indian Crick five fifty five, <clears throat> and as you can see here, this whole backer is covered, and. Uh, Inside the BCO 12, there's huge voids here, here, here. I mean, pretty much this whole pattern is a flyer. <laughs> I mean, is it flyers if it's part of the full pattern? I'm not sure, but I don't know. <laughs> if you guys flyers. think this is okay to take to the woods, you shouldn't be turkey hunting. I mean, I don't I even know if I would take that rabbit hunt. I mean, you shouldn't take this turkey hunting at all. I mean, this is this is really piss poor. Even at 20 yards, you probably have a 40 yard pattern. Yeah, it's, this just isn't good at all. I mean, I wouldn't take this a field at all, ever. I mean, this, Jesus. there's really just nothing good to say about this it's at all. To film it. I mean, there's just the whole backer, as you can see, is just covered with shot. I mean, just awful. It is, it's terrible. I mean, I thought constricting it down from our last test would make it perform, but I don't know. It just, it gave you this, and I would not take this hunting at all. I mean, that's just piss poor. You shouldn't ever take that to a field at all. Turkeys deserve better than that. I mean, yeah. you're going to be wiping out a whole flock if you shoot into a flock of turkeys. Actually, I mean, you'll probably hit the ones you're not aiming at. Yeah, I mean, that's... That's that's just unethical. Yeah, and that's the big difference between 20 gauge TSS and 20 gauge lead is this right here. I mean, you can just see how 20 gauge TSS performs. It's it's night and day difference. Like I keep saying, it's just if you're gonna shoot 20 gauge, you might as well just spend the extra money and buy TSS because you're gonna get lights out performance. I mean, you'll have ethical kills too. 
I mean, this is... Night and day difference, guys. I mean... You shoot a turkey with this and you're zero to this, wherever the, you find as the core, I mean, you're wounding birds. That's yeah. That's not killing them. No, you... That's messed up. Our Jake zoomed in on there. Uh, I bet the count is around 50 or so. But if you guys want to drop the drop the number in the comments to see what it is, feel free. All right, guys, this is the B&P 5 shot with the Indian Creek 555. And the sixes were piss poor. This is piss, piss poor. Okay, this, you, <laughs> they shouldn't even be able to make this anymore because that's just pathetic, really. It really is. I mean. Why in God's name would you ever take this to the woods? I mean, you you got like probably 20 or 30 pellets in there. I mean, you're you're missing a turkey at 40 yards. I mean, look at all these voids here, here, here. Well, you're wounding them. You're yeah. not missing them. Because every hit, even if you don't kill them, I mean, that's going to wound turkeys at 40 yards. Because you're yeah. going to hit them. I mean, there's all the shot is just covered on this backer. I mean, this this shouldn't even be able to be on the market at all. I... I'm kind of shocked that this isn't marketed as a field load. I mean, that's... You'd miss doves with this thing. Yeah, that's piss poor, really. I mean, I understand it's lead, but... No, that's that's embarrassing. You got to come up with a better product than this. This is embarrassing. You, If you take this to the woods, you should be ashamed of yourself, really. We should be able to scatter stones at you. You shouldn't turkey hunt at all. I mean, you'd probably kill them better with a slingshot than this. But Jake's going to... Looks great on the rubber. On the slingshot. <laughs> Jake's going to zoom in on the BCO-12. I bet you got like 20 count there, but I'm sorry, guys. TSS is the way to go in sub-gauges. Yeah, I mean, it's, that's, it's... this is piss poor. This is embarrassing. Don't ever take this to the woods, please. I'd yeah. be curious. <laughs> if, if you've shot these loads and you found a way to make them pattern, drop in the comments what you've done, or check out our Blue Collar Outdoors Pattern Boys Facebook group and post the pictures, because I'm curious if what it would take to get these to pattern i don't even think it's possible all right all right guys to talk and uh if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe hit the notification bell comment check out the online merch got the smack and snoods t-shirts on there <clears throat> got a lot of content hitting the channel we're pattering lead loads today it's nice out here in new york and uh yeah at least the weather's nice because the patterns ain't this lead load here is piss poor and it's embarrassing they should be ashamed of himself for putting it on the market, really. I'm actually a little upset because they're Italian. I mean, I, I it's... it's Look, if the fly is on it, because it knows shit. But like Jake said, if you guys <laughs> shoot this and know what it can shoot, feel free to put it in the comments. But this is Hawk, and I'll catch you on the next one.